Hello everybody, I'm Michael here and uh, we are starting a new series of videos uh, where except for talking about uh, the strategies we will apply them on uh, the real market and uh, to do that, in order to do that I prepared special account uh, for this, for testing and we will take some real money and uh, try to earn some money, right? Uh, so uh, maybe let's uh, talk about the first uh, strategy that I will be taking on. Unf unfortunately, the case is that uh, currently uh, when I started to recording this video and starting to, you know, applying it on the charts, uh, the uh, European session ended and we are currently somewhere in the uh, second quarter or third quarter of the American session and the volatility is a bit lower and the targets for the strategy are uh, 20 30 pips so i think it will be difficult uh, to you know record them uh, record them on the video right now or even you know uh, have them uh, somehow fast forward so uh, do apologize i think uh, yeah i will check of course um, tomorrow in the morning and record uh, record the records for you so it will be added on this video but you know uh, let's uh, talk about the strategy itself so we need to go for our clients cabinet i am already at uh, our uh, light finance clients cabinet and i have opened uh, two charts uh, two pos two trades already uh, one is on uh, aussie dollar against us dollar and uh, one is on euro against the british pound and uh, I will go down into details uh, as, as for the strategy. So uh, the scalping strategy, uh, will, which uh, will of course uh, require smaller time frame, which is M15. And uh, the strategy that uh, uh, yeah I used uh, right now uh, is the one I was already talking about on this channel. So if you do follow uh, this channel and my recordings or even uh, the Peter recordings, Peter videos, you will know uh, what I am talking about. So let's start from adding the indicators uh, and the ingredients for uh, this strategy. So first will be MA moving average. SMA, okay. So we need two of them. And the second thing we need ATR, average true range and CCI, Commodity Channel Index. So now let's uh, talk about the, the settings of the indicators. The indicators doesn't have to be the, uh, you know, the windows for the indicators don't need to be large. So let's start uh, from the moving averages. First one needs to have 10 period and the second one needs to be 30 period moving average atr can be 14 but cci we need to change the length for seven because we are trying to scalp the market therefore it will require the indicators to be more responsive to analyze a shorter period of times Thus, uh, this will mean uh, that we will get uh, more uh, false signals because as you most probably know on smaller time frames we are uh, uh, you know uh, we are um, trying to filter also the market noise and therefore yeah uh, it is what it is we are trying to we are trying to scalp so we need to adjust all everything uh, our tools uh, in order to yeah uh, be the most uh, be as secure as possible so the rules for the strategy are as follows maybe let's zoom in a bit so first thing first you know that the crossover must occur uh, so that uh, the shorter uh, the uh, the shorter period moving average the 10 period moving average needs to cross the needs to cross the 30 period moving average and of course the price needs to be also following in the same direction and after the crossover we need to get the cci to go uh, in the, we can say this overbought sum that is set uh, for us uh, by default. And to, in order to spot that, maybe let's make it a little bit bigger so it would be more visible 
on the chart okay so we are talking about the moment over here so as you can see at this candle we crossed the over uh, the overbought uh, zone we got close also to the uh, to the slower moving uh, the slower moving average the 30 period one and this is our signal to enter the market when we are entering this uh, purple zone again so we are going inside the channel uh, so that's our entry level and in order to set a stop loss we are using very basic tool which is the ATR the average true range so at this moment it was nine pips and therefore you can spot and this is a euro pound so you can see I have all the conditions uh, displayed to you we have the take profit which is 20 pips and the stop loss is 10 pips so maybe it's not to the pip but but i'm also adding the spread and some of the costs of the transaction therefore uh, it looks like that but you can see it's the risk reward ratio two to one and therefore uh yeah uh, the math is on our side so uh, we don't need to worry that much to have you know very high win rate ratio so that's the first transaction and so you can see uh, what was the basis maybe let's mark that i don't know why it why it is not visible here but uh, it doesn't matter that much clone copy did it how can i make it bigger on the left side okay make it more thicker so this is our uh, this is uh, our first tr first uh, trade and our second trade we need to go to the Aussie dollar against the US dollar uh, where are you okay so now let's again add to our chart the ingredients so give me a second we need to current price we want to see the default and again so we want to add moving average where are you pma sma one two CCI and ATR the average true range I guess uh, you you more or less understand the uh, understand the purpose of all of the indicators so basically the simple moving averages shows us the trend direction the CCI works more or less as a momentum uh, as a momentum indicator oscillator exactly and give us uh, yeah the best uh, moments the best entries possible and the atr uh, serves for us uh, for the purpose uh, for yeah setting the stop loss level in order for us to not be too far and not too close to our entry because there are moments like this typically if you would like to maybe let's zoom in typically if you would like to enter over here you would most probably set the stop loss over here so uh, as you probably guessing right now range of prices it is 24 pips so it might be a very wide stop loss if you want to scalp the market so 25 24 pips that would mean you would uh, need to take 48 uh, into your take profit and if you are trading on m15 time frame that would be hard uh, to in order to obtain uh, you know like 40 uh, 40 50 and above pips it is better to use uh, the strategy based on higher time frames at least like one hour four hours and daily uh, so as you can as you can see uh, on the atr our atr at that moment more or less uh, was uh, showing us the 11 pips value so twice as uh, twice as tight as for example uh, if we could you know uh, seek for 
latest uh, lower points and stuff like that uh, so now let's uh, set the indicators properly uh, first one needs to have 10 price second needs to have 30 the CCI needs to be at 7 and the ATI at ATR sorry uh, 14 it can stay that so uh, as you can see we were in an uptrend the 10 period moving average crossed the 30 period moving average the price reversed and on the CCI let's make it bigger on the CCI we had the crossover for the, the we crossed the uh, oversold zone and get back to to inside uh, to the to this purple zone the inside channel i have i mean this moment over here so therefore this or this candle would be our entry depending how fast we would react but more or less the level is here okay so if we check the atr which was at uh, 11 pips at that moment and if we go to settings of my transaction uh, yes we have the movement uh, 22 pips uh, in order to obtain take profit and the movement of 11 pips in order to uh, yeah uh, to set the stop loss level so that's my settings you have them record you can you they are recorded on the uh, on the camera you can see them clearly so uh, this part of the video is ending now and in a second you will see the results okay we are day after and here are the results so uh, we have these are the, those two transactions you have the dates and the time this one basically was my mistake instead of buy I clicked sell so forget about that and uh, if we take into account uh, those the results uh, and first went into profit second went to negative overall we were in profit two euro all two euros and 12 cents but Hey, uh, the conclusion is that you need to have the statistics from both. If you are starting to trading some scalping strategy, do not jump from one currency pair or one asset to another. Choose a couple of assets, mm, this many, uh, this many, how much you are able to, you know, operate and monitor at the same time so that's the first thing and stick to them and uh, after you will obtain i don't know a couple months of trading or you know a couple hundred of transactions then you will be able to take some stats from uh, from trading uh, yeah this strategy because jumping from one currency per one asset into another it could uh, you know end it badly for you because all the assets moves differently and all the stats could be mixing out and if you will take and take into account stats from i don't know half half a year six months and you are trading 20 30 assets it will give you nothing because most likely it could be also a situation where you were uh, you know trading on the worst periods for particular assets so maybe for example you on some on you know three or four or five assets uh, that uh, this strategy at this moment when you enter the market wasn't working so you need to have that in mind if you choose uh, some of the assets you need to do it based on a backtest if you took the best backtest you have some stats therefore uh, with this in mind with uh, this knowledge in your head basically how many uh, how many um, you know the percentage of the win rate is how many uh, profit and losses you can get in a row so uh, you need to have in mind at what level you need to change something you need to change the asset on uh, what is the critical moment to uh, do something about it not just to calculate that okay it's just a period of uh, some series of losses but after that and uh, the uh, you know the wins will come so these are the things that you need to have in mind that you need to take a look when you are trading 
And yeah, uh, as I said previously, that's the first video of the yeah, new series, a new content on uh, this channel. So we will be digging down in many other strategies and, you know, uh, take them uh, on a real account and test them as well as portfolios with stocks. So uh, be sure to follow this uh, channel uh, to see more. And yeah, till next time, guys. Bye.